This is Tank's Vlog for December 18th, 2017. Wrapping up the day in sports. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons, they inched closer to the playoffs. Eking out a win over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers who have basically had just a dreadful season. One of the more disappointing teams in the NFL. Actually played one of their better games tonight. Jameis Winston had three touchdown passes. But in the end, it wasn't enough. Uh, uh, the Falcons just kept him at bay long enough. I mean, if, if the game had another minute or two, uh, the Buccaneers would have probably at least tied it. But they uh, just didn't have... They ran out of time. They ran out of timeouts. Uh, the referee stumbled and fell on his face, which was absolutely hilarious. Uh... And even though sometimes the Buccaneers, uh, the Falcons had trouble getting set, which ticked off Matt Ryan, dropping a major F-bomb on uh, Monday Night Football. Uh, it was The Falcons did just enough to win, as uh, Patrick Murray's 54-yard field goal sailed wide right. So at 9-5, and five, the Atlanta Falcons basically need to win one more game to ensure themselves in the playoffs. And uh, that's not good news for the uh Dallas Cowboys, who basically have to win their last two games and have the Falcons lose their last two games to at least have any shot at all. And there's other tiebreakers in there. Uh, so, that's the uh, what to watch for. Uh, the Seahawks are also in the race, and they play the Cowboys next week. But the way the Seahawks are going, I think, I think that's a sinking ship. Detroit's still got a the uh, chance in there, uh, but they have some tough uh, road to hoe, so basically it's, look out what's going on between the Cowboys and the Falcons. Moving on to the NBA, uh, in Los Angeles tonight, the uh, Lakers retired two numbers in honor of Kobe Bryant, the man with the ego, so why did he have to have two numbers retired? Because he both wore 8 and 24 at one time during his career. I never understood why he changed his number. I never understood it. Never understood it. But So here we go. We got two numbers retired for Kobe Bryant. That's so Kobe. Uh, Lakers played really good today. But it wasn't enough. They lost an overtime heartbreaker to the Golden State Warriors. Other action, we saw the Knicks play without uh, Christoph Porzingis and play on the road. Two things which equal losses for the Knicks this year. And they lost, uh, got blown out by the Charlotte Hornets, 109-91. to It's been a major disappointing year for the Hornets so far, as they are 11-19. Celtics. They played a sloppy game, but found a way to steal it in the end, beating the Indiana Pacers 112-111, meaning it topped the East. The Hawks beat the uh, Heat 110-104. The uh, Bulls, they continued their resurgence. A sixth straight win over the Sixers, 117-115. The Sixers, who got off to a good start, have stumbled as of late and are 14 and 15. Trust the process. Trust the process. One team that doesn't lose is the Houston Rockets, who won their 14th straight, shooting down the Utah Jazz 120 to 99. It was the Timberwolves over the Trailblazers 108 107. The Dunder, back at 500, struck down the Nuggets. 95-94. It was the Suns in the 97-91 uh, winners over the Mavericks. And the Spurs sank the Clippers 109-91. NHL in Newark. Adam Henrique made his return. As the Devils played the Ducks. One month after the trade that sent him to Anaheim for Sami Vatanen. Uh... True to form, Adam Henrique scored an early goal. Ducks had a 2 0 lead. But the Devils battled back. Got a nice 5 3 win. 
and just absolutely gritty, gutty game. This is the type of game that the Devils have played all season. At 19-9 and 5, they just continue to play good hockey. There's been a lot of positives for the Devils this year. And another game like this is just perfect. The perfect example, just you just gotta really like you gotta really like how they played this year. You really gotta like how they played. It's been outstanding all the way. Um, it's just it's been really been fun. And tonight it was Stefan Noason. He's the one. He all there's a former duck who uh, came back to haunt his old team. And it's just every night it's a new hero. And it was his first two, he had two goals tonight. It was just perfect. Just a totally great game. And Jesper Bratt, he continues. I mean, the six-round pick. I mean, we uh, we talk about uh, Nico Hishier being the super rookie. But Jesper Bratt, I tell you, I, every time I see him, he just reminds me of that pesky type Esatikinen player that all good teams have. And I, I mean, he's he, he just it's been just a fun season so far for the Devils. Meanwhile, the Boston Bruins pummeled the Blue Jackets seven to two. The Kings over the Flyers four to one. The Avalanche doubled up the uh, Penguins four to two, and the Oilers beat the Sharks five to three. Today's three stars are. Devonta Freeman of the Falcons, Russell Westbrook of the Dunder, and Tyson Barry of the Avalanche. Uh, today's birthday shout-out goes to Kevin McHale, who turned 60. And we take a look back at Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia 100 years ago today to the first two games in NHL history. So click on the full story at Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives, we should have more bowl predictions up by the end of the day, so keep your eye on that before the kickoff of Tuesday night's meaningless, crummy bowl game. I hate bowls. Can we just go to a playoff, please? Good day.